What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I love the mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Oh, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. Good morning, Lady Holden. God bless you, Sister TJ. God bless you, Sister Riley. Praise the Lord, Sister Jackson. God bless you, Gina. All the way from St. Kitts, God bless you. God bless you, Pastor and Lady Chetram. God bless you, Thomasina. Good morning, Sister Pettiford. God bless you, Angela. Good morning, Mother Wilkins. God bless you, Sister Stimson. Praise the Lord, Crystal. Praise the Lord, Thomasina. Good morning, Iris. Good morning, Angela. Pastor Alday, Lady Alday, God bless you both. Good morning. Good morning, Lady Austin. God bless you. Sister Stewart, God bless you. Sister Marion, God bless you. Missionary Johnson, God bless you. God bless you, Francine. And Sister Miriam, God bless you. Sister Bailey, God bless you. Sister Petaway, praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Pastor Morton, God bless you. Sister Frederick, praise God, everybody. Good morning, Alicia. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Tanya. God bless you. Sister Frederick, God bless you. Pastor and Lady Dykes, God bless you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Carly, God bless you. Praise the Lord. S um, Sister Stacy, God bless you. Mother Jill, God bless you. Deacon and Sister Morris, God bless you. Brother Stokes, well, praise the Lord, everybody, and good morning and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. As in always, it's a pleasure and honor to be able to share the few, these few moments with you with a biblical meditation and through prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to see and to hear the miraculous moving of God as a function of prayer. I tell you, prayer works. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter what the need is. If you have the faith to pray, God has the power to deliver. And so we are celebrating. We're excited. We are literally one day away from our anniversary of spending Every day, 365 days, we have been in prayer every morning with this morning prayer. So this is a special day. We're on the eve of that um, great celebration of prayer and celebration of consistency and faithfulness, but mostly the celebration of God hearing prayer, God bringing comfort, God bringing deliverance, God delivering and strengthening and touching people's lives. And for that, we are indeed grateful. Today is the first Friday. And on the first Friday, we always we are always blessed to have with us the regional apostle of region five that includes um, North Carolina, West Virginia and Louisville, Kentucky, Apostle Raymond J. Keefe. And he's going to share with us today's biblical meditation and he's going to be leading us in prayer and we're honored that he's taking time we see mother keith lady keith on the line and we celebrate and thank god for her and for everyone that is joining we see other folks pastors and first ladies and members from region five and thank you for being with us so spread the word share it right now that apostle keith is going to be carrying sharing in the morning prayer this morning so let me bring him on now 
Good morning, Pastor Keith. Good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. Uh, Not it's a joy uh, to be on this morning. I'm grateful for the goodness of the Lord uh, to yet be in the land of the living. And I want to thank you, uh, Bishop Davis, for allowing uh, me to share uh, with Region 5. Uh, and I want to thank you uh, for helping to host our hybrid uh, Region 5 meeting. It was exciting. And I want to thank God for you and Lady Charity and Bishop and uh, Lady Terry uh, and to all of the members of Region 5. It was an exciting time and we bless the Lord for um, what he did. Uh, it was electric in Louisville and I believe it was just as exciting praise God, in Burlington. And thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for allowing me to join with you this morning. And I would like to share, praise God, from the Word of God in the book of Judges. I've been uh, spending time in Judges in the second chapter I want to read to you uh, the first four verses of the book of Judges. And the Bible says, And an angel of the Lord came up from Gilgal to Bochum and said, I made you to go up out of Egypt and have brought you unto the land which I share unto your fathers. I swear, I'm sorry, unto your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant. Wherefore, and you shall make no leagues with the inhabitants of this land. You shall throw down their altars, but you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Wherefore, I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your side, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. And it came to pass when the angel of the Lord spake these words unto all the children of Israel that the people lifted up their voice and wept. And I, you know, these uh, verses uh, blessed me, scared me. Uh, because I, I, I see parallels with the people of God now and the children of Israel then. Uh, our Egypt was sin. We just, you know, we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and we struggled. Uh, and the Lord blessed us and brought us up out of that land of Egypt. And he told us not to entangle ourselves. We are in the world, but not of the world. So none of the gods, none of the idols, none of the uh, things that would take us and our attention away from him ought to capture our mind. We ought to be so wrapped up, so tied up, so tangled up, 
so in love with the Lord that nothing shall be able to catch our attention and separate us. Uh, the Lord asked Israel, he said, I, I, I told you to throw down their altars, uh, not to worship at their altars, but throw them down. He said, but you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Why have you allowed the culture of the day to capture your attention so that I am not prominent and present in your lives? Why aren't you wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in me? Praise God, because I brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, and thou shalt have no other God before me. Praise God. Not money, not personality. Praise God. Not possessions. Nothing shall capture your attention and take you from me, because without me, the Lord says, you're nothing, you have nothing. And I'm just, you know, so blessed that we who are the people of God, who really love the Lord, our mindset is to keep our mind on him and to help uh, so many to learn him as as I kept on reading and 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 studying and understanding I saw that as long as Joshua Moses minister was alive Israel served God and as long as the elders who overlived Joshua were alive, the people served God. But then there was a line that said, and there arose another generation who did not know Joshua and they started to serve other gods. I think it is incumbent on us, and that's why I'm so grateful for this time that Bishop Davis does every day and allows us to join every first Friday to remind the people of God that it is easy to be pulled off track. But the things that we will go through without God on our side can be catastrophic. We don't want our attention to get away from the God that brought us out. And we don't want our children to be raised apathetic to the God that we serve. We need our children to be as excited about Jesus as we are, because we don't know the day. We don't know the hour. We don't know when he's coming back. And he asked, will there be faith when he comes? Will we still be in love with, dependent on, leaning on this God that we serve? Will we be as on fire as we were when we first received the Holy Ghost? And I want to, I want to be able to say, Lord, <laughs> even so, Come, 
I know there's peril in the world. I know that there is uh, pandemic and pestilence in the world. I know that there is wars and rumors of wars, but praise God, my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. And I dare not trust the sweetest flame, but I, I want to wholly lean, wholly not be caught up in personality and things, not be caught up in this world that seems to value everything that the Lord said not to care about. You know, we who are the people of God ought to love God and his people. Praise God. We ought to love people and thank God that we can use things. And I want to encourage you not to love things and use the people that God told us to love. Let's be mindful that we are not our own, but we've been bought with a price. It was a dear price. Praise God, his blood, he shed it for us so that we could have a right to the tree of life. My God, I'm not going to drive your enemies out, the Lord said. I want to see how you going to do, what you going to do. Will you love me with all your heart? When times get bad, will you still hold to my hand? Will you still trust me? to bring you out and I tell you prayer makes the difference and God honors and loves our trust and focus in his name and on his behalf. Praise God and I love Jesus. <laughs> He's my savior. And when storms are raging, He's my shelter, praise God. And wherever he leads me, I'm gonna follow because I love Jesus and I know he loves me. It's, it's prayer time. And thank you for allowing me to join with you to touch and to agree because more things are wrought by prayer this world has ever dreamed, praise God. And I'm still here because of prayer. And I'm still trusting because of prayer. I'm still loving God because of prayer. Come on and join with me, Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we come before your throne to bless and to thank you, to give you glory. You are the great God, my God, from everlasting to everlasting. You have been so good. We magnify and glorify your name. We rejoice in your presence because in your presence is the fullness of joy. And at your right hand, oh God, a pleasures forevermore. And we thank you for it. And we touch and agree as believers, oh God, that all things are possible with you. And we lean on that. We believe it. We, oh God, love you because of it. And we ask you to search our hearts. <laughs> hey, God, if there's anything in us that's not like you, we ask you to take it away. You know everyone that's on the line. You know every family that is represented. 
You know what the needs are. And we ask you, God, to meet those needs in your will and bless your people to hold to your hand. The enemy does all that he can to try to pull us away, snatch us out of presence. Uh, he bombards us and he plagues us and tells us that you don't care. Hallelujah. Tells us that you are not going to be there. But bless God that we know he's a liar. Uh, and from the beginning you were there. Hallelujah. And you're there right now. We need you to go by hospital rooms and we need you to go into court rooms and we need you to go into our uh, neighborhoods and do what you do. Glory to God. Work miracles and uh, cause blessings to flow uh, and examine us. My God, if there be anything that's not like you, take it out. Because we want your mind. We want your heart. We, we want to be able to love our enemies. Glory. Hallelujah. We want to be able to embrace our friends even when we feel hurt by their actions. Glory to God. Help us to be more like you, to forgive, glory to God, to love, to cherish through the power of the Holy Ghost. And thank you, thank you for the Holy Ghost. Without you, oh God, we would be nothing. Hallelujah, would have. Oh God, a blank future and a desolate, my God, inheritance. But because of you, hey God, we have a home in glory. We have, oh God, a faith that makes us to know that when it's all over here, we are coming in to your presence and we will bless you. We will love you. We will cherish hallelujah even praise god the memories the the thoughts glory to god of how you brought us out of darkness into a, a marvelous light help us now glory to god not to forget where you brought us from but to anticipate with great joy where you're taking us to if you Glory to God, will do that with us and for us. We will praise and bless your great name. Glory to God, bless, hallelujah, region five and bless the church of our Lord and bless your church all over. My God, you said you have, praise God, sheep that are not of this fold and them so you must bring and we encourage my god we pray that we will be able to partner with to love and to cherish my god all your sheep all your people praise god because you have been so good to us hallelujah we want that goodness to share with everybody. Lord, love you. We bless you. We praise you. Thank you for our bishops. Thank you for our district elders. Thank you for our pastors and their companions and their congregations. Help us, glory to God, to draw together, to be stronger and to be more mindful, to share the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you for what you've done with us and what you've done for us. And we look forward 
to growth. Glory to God in the region. We look forward for your presence. Glory to God to expand. This is the year of discipleship and help us, my God, to be better disciples in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We thank you and help us praise God to glorify you and just praise God just for a moment as we close this prayer. Praise God, if we could just worship my God, hallelujah, because he has been so good. Thank you for healing for those who have been healed. Thank you for deliverance for those who have been delivered. Thank you, my God, for walking with us and being right by our side. And those that have not received the blessing that they want yet, Thank you that their blessing is on the way. And so we lift our hands and we praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. And a metadarabashata. Truly wonderful. Glory. What the Lord has done. Glory to God, truly wonderful. And again, praise God, I thank God. Praise God for this privilege. And I thank God for you, Pastor Davis, and for Region 5, and for how we have come together. Praise God, because one can chase a thousand. Glory to God. Two can put 10,000 to flight. I'm just excited today. And so I'm going to try to calm down and turn the mic back over to you. Thank you so very much for being a friend, for being a brother, amen, and helping me to enjoy Jesus in Region 5. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a powerful word. What a powerful word. And you know, I know God is speaking to the church because um, I, I've, I'm dealing with the same topic in Refuge Temple. Uh, Sunday, I preached the cost of compromise, and I didn't preach mm. churches, but I dealt with Solomon and Solomon's All right. way from what he was taught. And I'm not done with that. I want to pick that up by God's grace on Sunday. Yeah. So this message is timely because there are so many people that we don't know, you know, and, and honestly, I, I don't consider myself to be an old man. I'm a middle aged man, but I can look back at our past and I can look back mm -hmm. at where the church has been and where the church yes, seems sir. to be going now. And and I'm worried. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Some days I get encouraged and I get hyped because I see some things that excite me. I see the um, advances and I see the anointing on some of our yeah, younger yeah. generation and it excites me. And then I look and I see some other things that concern me. And, and, and so I, 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 I'm, I vacillate between excitement and concern because yeah, yeah. I know that yeah, our young yeah. people have the potential to win the entire world for Jesus Christ. There are so many things that they know how to do that we did not know mm -hmm. how to do. So many connections, yeah, yeah. the ability to garner people and gather people that we didn't do. We know we, we got out by ourselves with one little flyer on the corner trying to encourage this one and that one. And they can, with the touch of a key, touch 2,000 friends at one time with whatever they want to share. Mm -hmm. And what a powerful um, ability that is. However, when, when, when our values become compromised, and when our values yeah. become in question, then you wonder what is being shared and how is it going to be shared? And is the lifestyle and the behavior, and, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to be completely fair, they learned some of their hypocrisy from us. They learned some of that yes, from our sir. generation. And, you know, there's an expression yes, that, says that what um, we practice in moderation, our children will practice in excess. And when you think mm -hmm. about that, from that context, we have to go back and repent for not always being the best examples that we could have been to them. Mm -hmm. And then trying to create the dialogue that allows them to understand that God wants all of us to do better. 
no matter where you are in the continuum. My, my dad turned 85 and he's telling me he wants to do better. All of us want to do better for, for living for God and for God and walking with God. And so hopefully our children develop that same mentality of simply saying we want to do it so God can be pleased with us. So thank you for that word. And as always, thank you for that powerful prayer. Apostle Keith, you always bless the people when you join us. And we thank God for that. I, I'm grateful for your leadership. I'm grateful for the fellowship and the friendship that we've enjoyed for now close to 50 years, I guess. <laughs> you know, it's, been, it's been a long time. <laughs> but, but I'm thanking God, God for good. that. And the Lord continues to remain faithful to us and we are grateful 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 to him and to all of you who have joined us this morning um i'm going to ask everybody this is is on the screen and i'm going to share it again this is the first friday and i want you to be a blessing um to region five to strengthen apostle keith's hands i've just put it into the chat of how you can give is also on the opening general um, um announcement that you can sow into region five through the cash app Dollar sign Cool JC Region 5. They also have a Givelify app that you can also sew into as well, which I believe is Region 5 Cool JC. So if you want to give that way to bless Region 5, please do that. Apostle Keith has some ambitious plans, great agenda to serve the church of our Lord Jesus Christ and to serve the entire body of Christ. And, and we want to strengthen his hands in doing that. Morning prayer has been a major blessing to region five and we thank all of you for your support in that area and we appreciate that and we thank god for apostle keith sharing his time early in the morning to share and as i said earlier we're entering tomorrow is our um anniversary one entire year that we have been in prayer every morning at 6 30 with the saints of god and god has continued to add to the prayer i was reading um lady holden from um, Jackson, Mississippi was sharing testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies of people who have been blessed because she and others have joined this prayer. And I want to say this to all of our um, brothers and sisters in Mississippi. For them, it is a time difference. And so they're actually up at 530 in the morning in mm -hmm. Jackson to be a part of this prayer. But we see a number of folks, right. um, Lady Holden and Brandy and others who join the prayer every morning faithfully. And 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 I'm reading the testimonies. I couldn't read, read all of it, but I'm going to share it tomorrow. All the things that God is doing through that prayer as it reaches Mississippi. Um, we've had we have people who join us from India, from Africa, certainly our Caribbean brothers and sisters. Thank okay. God for them every day. Glory. Bishop and Mother Joseph and um, Pastor and Lady Chetram and other of, of the members in, in uh, Gina Williams um, from St. Kitts, from the Saints from St. Lucia. Thank God for you. They join us every day and we're just great, grateful to God for that and their support of the prayer and their support of Region 5. Once again, we want everyone to please be, be with us tomorrow. I know Saturday tends to be the day that people sleep in, but I want you to get up tomorrow. I want you to get up tomorrow and be in prayer Saturday morning at 630 with Pastor Davis as we celebrate this year. Because honestly, I didn't know if I had the strength to make it for an entire year, every yeah, morning yeah, at 630 yeah, with travel and yeah. other things that go on in the course of a day. And, and I'll say this to the glory of God. Some days I got three hours sleep, but God woke me up by 630 in order yeah. to be a part of prayer. Yeah. So obviously this is a ministry and a mission that God has given to us in this season. So I thank God for all of you. And once again, you know how you can sow. Um, if you want to be a blessing to Region 5, please share something. I'm going to share. I want you to share with Region 5 this morning and let's be a blessing. And then if you want to share with Refuge Temple, please, please, um, be, as well, be a blessing and God's going to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Apostle Keith. You, you, we had a phenomenal conference um, in September. And I know I, I, I'm praying that you and Mother Keith are encouraged and all of the bishops and saints are encouraged because I see the potential of God blessing the kingdom through Region 5. And, and, and Region 5 extends not only 
to West Virginia and North Carolina, but the Leeward Islands Diocese that includes St. Lucia, St. Kitts, the Dominican Republic, they are all part of Region 5, and they are blessed because of your continued support and leadership to the region, and we appreciate you and thank you for sharing and being a part of today's prayer. And this first Friday every month is such a tremendous blessing to everyone. So everybody join us tomorrow morning. Join us tomorrow morning at that 630 hour. And as always, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple um, all day, every day. This prayer service will be available on YouTube and also available on our Facebook page. You can also follow us on Instagram. You can follow us in our podcast on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. We thank God for that. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday at 1130 a.m., on GregoryGospel.com. And we're going to ask you to join us in the morning for this one year anniversary of morning prayer. And we're going to pray, we're going to worship, we're going to celebrate, and God is going to bless us in a wonderful way. Thank you, Apostle Keith, for being with us. We appreciate you. As always, we appreciate you. And if you would, give us our closing prayer. Thank God uh, for you and for uh, the work that you have done. Um, and I know it's not easy doing it, praise God, but even when you were in the airport, you connected to make sure that prayer was going on, amen, at the 6.30 hour. Uh, be not weary in well-doing. <laughs> you shall reap if you faint not. Thank God again for you and Lady Davis and for all of Region 5. Thank you all for supporting uh, not only Ref Temple in Burlington, but the work that we are doing in Region 5. Um, God knows and he will reward. Uh, as we leave, praise God, this time, I, I just thank God for how good he has been, what he's doing. Father, as we leave this line, but not your presence, would you bless us, order and direct our steps, Get the glory out of our lives, and we will give you praise in Jesus' name. Yay, he blessed. Today, we praise his name because we know tomorrow he'll bless us just the same. God bless you. Go with God. He'll go with you. God bless you, everybody. Enjoy your day. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. Shalom, shalom.